All right. How are you all? Uh, my name is Jeffrey Moran. Sometimes you might hear it being said, I'm Jeffrey the man Moran. <laughs> uh, but a friend of Louis and Louis asked me to do um, my testimony. And uh, uh, we had been talk talking about it for a while, but this was the perfect opportunity, so we, we decided to do it. So I'm just going to tell you uh, my story, so to speak. Um, long story short, my, uh, my family was the type of people that were in church, out of church. They were doing, uh, it seemed like as I look back on my life that they were kind of struggling in their whole Christianity and what I mean by that is, is that um, don't know when my family, when my dad or my mom got saved, but I do know that I remember times when I was growing up that it seemed like we was uh, going to church every Sunday and then it seemed like it would taper off. Then it seemed like we were going to church uh, holidays only. Then it seemed like we would get strong going to church uh, again and then we would taper off. So there was kind of this back and forth. Um, even though I was not a Christian in that time, it did give me a little bit of opportunity to hear uh, the, the truth and a little bits of the truth, but either way it goes, it was the truth. And, uh, but where I really got um, the seeds of the gospel talked to me was this woman um, that was uh, my best friend's mother and um, I would go over to my friend's house and my whole intentions was just to get back there and see him and she, I'd walk in and she would say have a seat and she would have like TVN on <laughs> imagine that but she would have TVN on uh, that's a Christian station with all the different preachers and she would have that on in the background, but she would start to share the gospel with me. And I remember that I would finally, she would finally release me to go back there to see my buddy. And I would say, man, why does your mom always preaching to me? And, uh, but she was doing that all the time. And um, those were seeds that were sown in my life, even though I didn't realize that. I looked at it as a burden, but really it was uh, some uh, seeds put in there to grow. Um, then uh, I get married around 27 and stuff, and uh, I told my wife that I was kind of thinking along those lines because she was already going to church, but she kind of had tapered off, but she was a Christian. And I started to go to church with her. And uh, she was going to a certain church that she had been going to for a little while. And um, i say about maybe a couple of months of going, I decided to go there. But in between that, I was listening to uh, a certain preacher on the radio, and well, on television, excuse me. And uh, he was constantly talking about the Word of God. And it was so different from what I was used to because I was listening. I was so used to hearing preachers uh, hollering and uh, what they would call hooping and uh, doing all of this stuff but I started to hear people certain ministers that really taught truth and what I what I felt was truth in regards to how the word was preached it wasn't a whole bunch of yelling it was a really teaching and I really valued that and uh, so anyway I, I uh, give my life to, to the Lord at the church that I was going to and fast, I mean very fast, for lack of a better word, went through the ranks so to speak and uh, became a minister and um, I was there for a season and what I mean by that is about uh, maybe two or three years and um, I felt that I was supposed to go and go to Bible school so I ended up um, packing up my whole family, two boys, wife kicking and screaming because she was not wanting to do that, uh, rented our house out, and we moved to uh, Oklahoma. And I stayed there for five years. And then um, we was feeling God was leading us to uh, go.
go to Nashville. So we moved to Nashville, Tennessee. And um, during that time, we started our own ministry and uh, was uh, uh, walking that stuff out. Now, I say all of that to bring you along to come to this conclusion. During that time, I did not have a clue about the grace of God. And what I mean by that is I was teach I was law minded. I mean I was always teaching uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All any time I was talking about reading Paul's writings and stuff, I was always going into it with a mind with the mindset of always having to do something. I, it was always about works. That I always had to do something in order to keep my salvation, in order to stay saved. And if I happen to mess up the condemnation that would come upon me. I felt like I was out of out of relationship when it came to Jesus Christ. And this went on for years. And uh, in this being in the ministry, so this shows you that sometimes even ministries can get it right or a minister in the church can get it wrong. Um, but my, uh, I, I had a friend of mine, I have a friend of mine who just started to talk to me about the grace of God and how we were sealed and that we didn't have to work and that was so foreign to me and I was I couldn't understand that I couldn't wrap my head around it and um, I had to go on a journey for myself and that means setting aside my former thoughts of what I've been taught in school and college all of that and say I'm just gonna look at the book and take the book for what it says and as I did that I come to understanding that I was a new creature in Christ, that I was a person and am a person that is sealed and that I, I walk in the grace of, in God's grace. And what I mean by that is, is that when he saved me and when he forgave me of my sins, he did that. Me believing that Jesus Christ, believing in the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That was my salvation that was offered to me. Me believing in that that had taken place and me trusting that. And with me trusting that and believing that, I'm sealed. I'm saved. And when I understood that, then I truly understood what is said in Galatians chapter 6, verse 15, where he says, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision, and if you wanted to, you could even say law. For neither law availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. I am a new creature in Christ. And uh, I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful that I, I finally understand that I don't have to work to, uh, to um, have God think better of me. Because that's what I thought. I thought if I did all of this stuff, that that was going to change his opinion of me. And God already had an opinion of me. When I accepted him, he welcomed me into the body. And he said, hey, you're in. And with, with me having that understanding, it really changed my whole outlook. So see, I didn't work to be good anymore. Because I understood that I was already righteous in Christ. I didn't work to do all of these things. I do good now because of me just being thankful for what he's done for me. I don't do it to try to be good to win uh, uh, his affections towards me. He already has affections towards me. He, he loves me so much. He cares for me so much. And I don't have to do a whole bunch of stuff in order to win that love that he already has for me. What he tells me to do now is to share that gospel truth of the death, burial, resurrection. That's my job now is to share that. And when I share that, I'm just I'm supposed to just let people understand that. Get them to understand that that uh, through the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ, that you can have salvation. You can live in the heavenlies with Jesus. I hope that people have an understanding of that because even even believers who may may be watching this, listen, if you're trying to do works, then I, you need to really check your salvation. You really need to check to see 
because Jesus paid it all. He paid for that sin. Nothing else that you can do after you uh, receive the salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. There's nothing else that you can do. If you think that there's something else, do you? if you think that there's something else that you have to do, then what Jesus did on the, Christ, uh, on the cross is null and void. All I can tell you is that, man, I live life in a whole different way. I'm not sitting up here trying to keep a whole bunch of rules. Yes, I do read my Bible. Yes, I do study my Bible. But what now when I study it, I study it in regards to having an understanding of who he is and what he's done for me and who he is inside of me. Everything that he's done inside of me. So see, I, then I learn as what in the book of Galatians, if you read that, walking in the spirit is all about. I get that understanding of who he is and all of this other stuff tends to disappear. Does it mean that temptation won't come back? Yeah, it'll come back. But now, man, it's totally different. Totally different. Because I know who my deliverer is. And I know that I can sit up there and look, in, look the devil in his face and be like, he's already paid for that. He's already paid for that. Anything that he tries to throw up, he's already paid the price for that. I'm forgiven for that. I'm forgiven for that. Even when people are trying to bring up your old life, you can still say, he paid for that. He's forgiven me from that. And your life starts to change, and you don't do those things that you used to do. So I just pray, man, and I hope that people have an understanding of uh, what Christ can do for them. Because uh, he's definitely changed my life. And even if you're a minister and you think that you know it all, man, I tell you, to, you need to just get a blank Bible and uh, don't even look at all the other stuff and just start out reading it and, and writing notes for yourself and not going to any commentaries or anything and really see what the book has to say. And I guarantee you once you see that, he'll start opening up stuff that... You didn't read somebody else's opinion. You have your own opinions about what this book means. And this, be this book becomes so valuable to you. But I pray that I said something that was uh, a blessing to you. Um, man, I appreciate Louie and the Louie file for everything that, uh, uh, that he's done. I mean, he's an awesome man of God and he is uh, truly a friend and somebody that, that I can talk to and I just thank God for all of the the things because I've even watched these uh, interviews myself and uh, all the different people that are giving their testimony so I'm uh, just blessed to be having an opportunity to give my testimony I am a new creature in Christ Jesus and I walk in the grace of God so I thank Louis I thank the Louis file and uh, y'all be blessed Goodbye.